What's up everyone, Power Total Buster here. Welcome to day, I don't know what, <laughs> of the world going to shit. Yeah, you got protesters with rioters mixing in, causing drama to, I, I don't even want to get into it. Anyways, I uh, found the rest of these guys. So, I uh, called a target and it was one that was, it wasn't too far, but it was farther than the usual ones I go to. And they said they had uh, a few in. So, go in. Lord behold, nothing on the pegs. So, I asked one of the employees who was actually surprisingly helpful this time around. And, yeah, he had some in the back. Um, and the only ones he had in the back were the ones I was missing. The Only the three. Uh, he had a, a Peter, but it was like uh, in the NECA section for whatever reason. But, yeah. So, I'm done with these guys. I got them. Uh, here these guys look great. Uh, I don't know if I can get any closer with the way I got the camera set up right now, but yeah. And I'm not sure if I went over articulation or anything with Peter, but today we're going to use Winston as a guinea pig, and he is going to be what we're looking at. Uh, also, I want to show off Gozer and Dana because out of all these guys, even though they look great, those two are actually my favorites she looked just like Sigourney Weaver I'm gonna show you guys in a minute but I'm not gonna review everyone uh, right now I mean I might later if I find some other things to point out but first thing first let's check this out it is uh, Gozer's hands little lightning effects so those are pretty cool it's like then die you know like the Andre 3000 hand movement thing from the album cover um but yeah since i'm talking about her anyway i'm gonna just show her off and man oh man this is a great looking figure no second head sculpt like the diamond select gave us which was technically the same head and i'm sorry i did not bring those guys out to compare that might be the next video comparing all the movie figures uh, i'm sure you guys seen it a bunch of times by now but i'm gonna go in real deep with it uh detail and everything but yeah uh, i like the way this figure looks um yeah i don't see anything wrong so i don't see a reason why i would need to pick up a second one in case i have an issue with this one so money saved uh i don't like these heels though kind of hard to stand and it's all just one flat color no variation or anything so yeah and again i'm gonna show you guys a comparison with the diamond select which isn't open because i had zero reason to open that figure and they aren't collector friendly i have no reason to really open this one i mean i like the way the figure looked but it's a collector friendly packaging and i needed the piece for the terror dog which is another figure um I'm gonna show you guys that in a moment uh but yeah it's another figure i did not open from the diamond select ones uh my dana i might need another one her head's a bit wobbly so check this out so if i find one in store uh i'm gonna test that out see how good it is but yeah that is definitely possessed sigourney weaver Another Diamond Select figure I didn't open. Most of them I did not open besides the Ghostbuster 2 and... Yeah, just the Ghostbuster 2 figures. I think I opened the Ghostbuster 1. I believe I did. But, yeah, this looks just like her. I wish we actually got Dana <laughs> wearing clothes, <laughs> you know. But, yeah, this is it so far. And that extra noise you guys was here with my refrigerator because I'm doing this in the kitchen. So, yeah. And upskirt shot. She's wearing underwear. If anybody was curious, which I'm sure someone was, I was curious. And yeah, look at the sculpting work. Got a little bit of shading in it. Uh, yeah, I mean, surprisingly, out of the faces, this one looks the most like her. And I got her doing a come here pose, like, come to me. What was the other pose I had her doing? Yeah, I've been playing with this one all day. Like, literally, my old lady said, are you playing with the toys again? <laughs> so, 
you know it's got to be good. So she's like raising the dead or something. I don't know. I mean, I like this figure. Um, But that being said, let me get her in a pretty much same position and put her down. It's hard for her to stand, but not as bad as that one or these guys. So, uh, you know what? I'm going to show you guys something. This part, this loop, everyone says for the goggles, which I believe it is. But I put the thrower there. Um, you guys know they sometimes dangle a thrower off the loop. So that's what I got there. I keep unfocusing. It'd be nice if I could actually get them to hold this walkie-talkie that sculpted inside the holster. Uh, this is twisted. I don't know how I feel about that. Um, looks, it looks like, you You know who this guy looked like? It don't look like Dan Aykroyd. It looked like the dad from Home Alone. Don't it? I don't know how I feel about that. I don't like it. And I already went over the Proton Pack, uh, when I showed you guys Peter. Man, this camera is shit at focusing. It takes forever. It wants to focus on everything else. But yeah, wrong elbow pads and all. Boots stuff look good. Uh, he's a lot bigger than the rest of the guys in the stomach. So this isn't connecting. And you know what? Even though they, they could have made that longer or something to connect, nobody's really going to notice. I just don't connect it because I'm not about to mess that part up. And this, this cord right here could go to hell. <laughs> like, really. I mean, again, I had it right here, but it, it's going to sit right here anyways. Because it's angled weird. So I'm going to just have him hold the door like this. Oh my god. If this thing did not focus. Yeah. This is definitely not his hairstyle either. Um, If you go back and look at part one movies. I mean it's close to this. But it's more poofy. Like watch the one. Uh, the promo pitch. Promo, pe promo pitch. For Ghostbusters. Uh, where him and Bill Murray was talking in front of the Ecto. Yeah, his hair is a lot poofier, and even in certain scenes in the movie. I don't know where that... I honestly do not remember that hairstyle. I mean, maybe that's just me. But, um, Egon with the PKE, which has little to no paint beside that green dot. So, yeah, that's all I'm going to get into with that guy. Oh, also, he's holding a thrower. Uh, it comes with this stream. Which, honestly, they should have made longer than this. Uh, this is pretty pathetic. And I don't like this end tip. Like the way it just tapers off to like a round end. It should have been at least this long. Because the packaging, it sits like this. So if you want to fill up the full length of the packaging, you actually could from here to down here. So that would have been more ideal. And they should have gave it like um, a blast effect or something at the edge. As for this part that actually pegs on to the gun or the thrower, uh, it it works. But unlike Diamond Select, who had to send out <laughs> bits and pieces, it should have been like a ball right here, you know, like a uh, like an explosion and then blast. I mean, that to me would have been a lot better, kind of like the um, MMPR Black Ranger effect. But yeah, um, like crystal candy, doesn't it? So yeah, uh, what is this? Oh, I was say that I shake myself. But yeah, it's like too much lightning effect. So, and this should have been orange with some red, a red like line on the inside. I don't know. I'm going to have to customize and make one of my own. I can at least do that. But back to it in case it didn't come out clear before. Also, since I got Winston as the guinea pig, these guys should have had alternate hands again without the gloves. Should have had some gloves dangling off of here. Somewhere to put the trap on here. It's just... It's just all around. There's another key fob that's like dangling in the back, which I believe 
technically this is supposed to go to uh, the back, like up and under. Man, what the fuck? I cannot get this thing to straighten up, y'all. But yeah, it's supposed to go around and under here, but it's not doing it. So, with Winston here, look at his face. I think he looks somewhat like Ernie. I wish it had autofocus on here. I mean, it has it, but it just doesn't work. I don't know. I don't. I don't like that mouth. But again, this is like Star Wars Black when they first started. Even though they should be good at by now, but you know, I mean, I guess they're um, different teams, so they're learning. But I don't like this this little joint right here. It's ugly. I wish they had the hinge or well, the swivel hinge right here. This shouldn't be a cut. But it is. Uh, this part is okay. Uh, his head. Let me get to a better angle. His head does look left, right. None of the heads really look up that much. That's as far as you're getting it. Look down. You know what he looked like? He kind of looked like um, Michael B. Jordan. <laughs> Don't you guys see it? You got to like Michael B. Jordan. I don't know. But anyways, y'all know about the whole waste ordeal. Uh, they all got this roll of dice hand. So there's no swivel this way, just this way. <laughs> um, yeah. Nice Chris Zedmore. Well, Zedmore name patch. Uh, this isn't. Messed up like rays, but it got some paint blemish on it. Uh, yeah. This part is okay. There's a thigh cut. Double knees, as you guys can see. Let's see how close it goes. These are pretty hard when you first open them. Uh, so. Uh, yeah, that's pretty ugly, y'all. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know what they got going at Hasbro with these. They... They might need to hit the drawing board again. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, this... I don't know. Now, my biggest complaint with the articulation here, besides the hands being dice rolling and not the other way around, no boot swivel. You gotta be kidding me. i seen boot cut on figures that... This, Sculpt will break like like if you move the boot cut, it breaks up the sculpt. I literally seen that on some figures. I can't think of who it was exactly. It wasn't like people with boots like Spider Man. It was someone else. And it's like, why would you get them boot cut? But this, the figure that should have a boot cut because he's wearing boots, does not have the swivel. That is beyond ridiculous. And he got anchor articulation. So that's my half ass attempt of. Uh, Explaining his articulation. Uh, yeah, that's Winston. I mean, you get him in some good poses. You see, I got Ega holding the thrower back there. Um, no alternate hands. They really, if I feel like they did the minimum, not the bare minimum. They could have did even less, but they did the minimum here. Uh... Let's see. What else was I supposed to talk about with this guy? Um, The sculpt is very light. It's not deep cuts. Uh, the grays, the beige suit, it's it's not. It's definitely not the color of the box art or the packaging. So there is that because this is like two different colors. I don't like this color really. I mean, it looks good all together, but... I don't know. He got the hole in his back for the Proton Pack. And, yeah. Uh, here is the Terra Dog. <clears throat> Again, I don't have the Diamond Select figures out right now to compare. Ultimately, this was just an overall um, idea of how everything is. But... Terror Dog looks good. A lot of people have problems with it. 
I honestly think it's fine. Is it better than Diamond Select? I honestly can't tell. I never opened it. I got, I sold the smoky one, like the clear colored one. And I got two of these guys um, from Diamond Select. I do like the nice silver on here. Like, I, I'm pretty sure that's not accurate <laughs> at all. But there is a nice shine to it. So that's pretty cool. Mouth opens and closes. Uh, you know what would have been sweet? If they gave him a light inside his mouth, like, you know, but you don't get that articulation, a little weird. This is a figure. Some animals just do not need articulation in the body. This could have been just one solid piece. Just gave him head movement and open and close the mouth. Uh, this, I mean, I don't have a NECA one anymore. I used to have a NECA one. I think only NECA figure I got is Slimer. I don't have Gozer or... Uh, I got Stay Puff and Slimer is what it is. But yeah, this hand articulation shouldn't be here. It should be just one static, solid piece. So you could just set it down. But since it's like this and weird, you got to maneuver the foot. and So, yeah, I mean, once you get in that position, it's pretty good. I mean, it's a nice giant figure. It's, it's to scale. You know, I mean, it's the right scale and all. But, yeah, it... This foot right here is pretty loose, so it keeps swiveling on me. So, I'm trying to get on the lay flat. So, it's not, I, this figure at least, particularly, is not going flat at all. And I got a feeling one day it's going to, like, start dropping. Like, it's going to get loose and start laying down on its belly. <sighs> Knock on wood. This is not wood. But I hope that doesn't happen. So, that is pretty much it, guys. Uh, this is my video of the Hasbro Ghostbusters series. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. I will catch you guys later. Peace.